So the bar exam is next week. Are you ready for it? I'm Professor Capco, and I'm here to talk you through your last weekend before the bar exam. Yes, I know how it is. I know you're stressed, but I'm here to help you. I've been through the process myself. I passed on the first time, and I currently help many students pass the bar. It's one of the main things I do, and I can help you as well. Let's talk about your plan for the next few days leading up to the bar. Yes, your plan. That's the first point. You need to have a plan. It doesn't even matter if it's not a great plan. It doesn't have to be a detailed plan. You just have to have a plan of action. And that plan of action is going to help settle you a little bit by knowing what you're going to be doing the next few days and where you're going to be. So, it is the weekend before the bar exam. Make sure you've got all your transportation lined up. Go ahead and use some of that nervous energy to pack and be ready to go. You should be doing some um, studying right up to it, and I'm going to talk about those steps in a moment. But have a plan. Know when you're leaving to go there. If you're staying overnight, you may want to arrive early. Be ready to go and know exactly where you need to go. Go ahead and map it out. Make sure you fuel up your vehicle. Don't leave anything to the chance. Make sure your oil level is good. Have your tires checked. You don't want any problems as you head to take the bar exam. If you're taking the Florida bar exam, you're going to be heading over to Tampa. If you're taking a bar exam in another state, hopefully you know exactly where you need to be. You've mapped it out. And if it's far enough away, you have accommodations to stay there. You don't want any ex extra distractions. You should be studying the next few days. And then as you're traveling over to the bar exam, you can be listening to podcasts or videos on it. Uh, a company I work with is Ibis Prep. They've got some wonderful YouTube videos that you can listen to um, that will help you with preparation for the bar exam, as well as you could sign up uh, for some of the other videos they have. Reach out to me in the comments if you want to know more about that. But listen to some bar materials on your way over. If you've got some friends that are taking with you, taking it with you, that is great. You can be quizzing each other and pumping each other up on your way over. I recommend the day before or the evening before the bar exam, do not study. Just let your mind rest. Get some rest and relaxation in. My friends and I, the night before the bar exam, went to the movies. We went to the movies. We had to take our mind off of it. And that way, your mind is fresh. You don't want to go into the bar exam tired and burned out. And one thing that will burn people out is decision fatigue. Deciding which is the correct answer, which is the best answer, which among these is the correct reason. That will lead to decision fatigue. So if you do too much of that and you head into the bar exam and you've already got decision fatigue, you will not have the ability to judge between answers. So let your mind rest leading into it. Let's then talk about what type of practice you need to do up leading up to it. I would do at least one more essay. Two if you can swing it. Full-blown essays. Do them timed. Only give yourself 50 minutes. If you've got an hour to take the, the essay, only give yourself 50 minutes. See if you can do it quicker. Just do it under exam conditions if you can. And I believe I recommended this before. Go to Starbucks or Panera Bread or something like that and do it there under those conditions. Put on your headphones or your earbuds or your, your ear um, earplugs. That way... You're used to people moving around, making noise, things dropping on the floor, people walking, because there are going to be distractions while you're taking the bar exam. It 
as much as they try and make it quiet and like a library, even in a library, people get up and walk around. You're going to have proctors walking around. You're going to have somebody with a sniffle. Somebody's going to be coughing, all kinds of things like that. So make sure that you are used to that. Also, do some more multiple choice questions each day. Practice those multiple choice questions. But more importantly at this point, instead of trying to learn anything really new, because if you've been studying up to this point, the margin of things that you can learn at this point won't make that much of a difference. It's more important that you remember what you have already learned. So make sure that those things you haven't done for a few weeks, look them over. That's why maybe not doing quite as many multiple choice questions is is not what you want to do because you don't know what questions you might get. Instead, focus on maybe some of your outlines. Maybe you've boiled those outlines down to some tricky questions and look at those things that you know. Make sure you know them for sure because you don't want to freeze up on the exam and not know something that if you were just relaxed, somebody asked you, you would know it. But because you're stressed and because you've been studying too much, you freeze up. So we don't want you to freeze up. We want you to have some confidence going into it. So do some studying, continue studying, do at least two more essays, do some multiple choice questions each day leading up to the bar exam. And also make a plan as to what you're going to do the day of the exam and whether or not you're going to do any kind of cramming right beforehand. Cramming is not a good idea. So I'm going to back off of that word. I don't want you to cram. Let me say that again. I don't want you to cram. What useful would be have a one or two sheets of paper with just some of those really hard to remember things that you need to know. They're just facts. You already know the game on how to read the questions. You already know how the multiple choice questions work. You already know how to do your IRACs for the essays. But those little things that maybe dates, maybe you have a hard time remembering how many days you have to file a motion for a new trial or how many days uh, you have to answer interrogatories. Just really facts and figures like that that may come up. And if it's like the Florida bar where you take the the, the Florida portion first or whatever your state portion first and the next day is the multi-state, which is likely most of you will do that, then be focused only on the stuff for your state. And, you know, for the Florida bar, I believe you take the essays in the morning of the first day and then you get a break for lunch. If you're burned out from the essays, then just enjoy your lunch. Just take a break. Rest your mind. If you're pumped after taking the essays and you're like, oh, and you're ready to move on to the, the multiple choice, then pull out the sheet of paper during lunch and look it over and get those last little bits and pieces because multiple choice questions tend to be very picky as to very detailed things. So make sure you do that. Um, have that sheet of paper available. If you're not feeling it, don't beat yourself up. Don't pull it out. It's better for you to be relaxed going into that test. But if you're pumped and you want to look it over, you do have it available. So just make yourself a tricky points to review, just direct points of stuff that maybe you have a hard time remembering. And that way it'll be fresh on your mind. Lastly, going into the test, you're nervous. I know it. If you, if you weren't nervous, that meant it wasn't important to you. It's important to you, I know that. So you're gonna be nervous. Here's how I want you to reframe it. Instead of thinking of yourself being nervous, reframe that. You are excited. You're excited to take the test and put this behind you and move on with your career. This can be one of the most exciting times in your life. You will remember it forever when you take that exam and you succeed and you go on and be a lawyer. You'll never forget what it was like taking the bar exam. So reframe it that you're excited. It doesn't have to be true. A reframe doesn't have to be true. It's the same energy, though. Nervous energy can be excited energy, and it's up to you to reframe it. Every time you feel nervous, tell yourself, I'm so excited to take this exam, and you can do it. I believe in you. If you need any last-minute tutoring, reach out to me. Put something in the comments, or 
you can reach me at robertcapco at gmail.com. Reach out to me and we can set up something. Let me know. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe something great is going to happen for you this coming week. If you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to this channel and hit the notification, notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you, and best of luck.